Hey, what's up? It's Caroline with Fleet Beat, and today we are going to be reviewing the Ultra Torin 7. Fleet Feet reviewers thought that sliding into the Torin 7 felt akin to slipping into your cozy sweatpants after a long day in formal work clothes, and we'll explain why in this video. First, let's get started with some tech specs. The Ultra Torin 7 weighs in at 8.1 ounces for the women's model, which is about a half ounce lighter than the previous version, and 9.8 ounces for the men's model, which is almost a full ounce lighter than the Ultra Torin 6. This shoe has a heel to toe drop of zero millimeters. It has a stack height of 27 millimeters. It's categorized as a neutral shoe, and it's best for running on the road. All Ultra shoes have what's called a zero millimeter heel to toe drop, also known as balanced cushioning. And this just means that your heel and your forefoot are sitting at a level height from the ground. And this keeps your foot in a natural, neutral position through each phase of the gait cycle, which Fleet Feet reviewer Travis really appreciates. I was having hip problems and certain shoes would really aggravate it, Travis says. When I started running in the Tour in Four, I felt my hip flexors relax for the first time in a while. It provided a solid base for my hips and knees. I've been running in the Torin ever since, and in my opinion, the 7 is the best one yet. Part of the reason why we think the Ultra Torin 7 is the best version yet is because it's got an extra 2 millimeters of Ultra Signature Ego Max cushioning in the midsole. And this cushioning provides a really, really nice balanced blend of both soft and responsive. And remember when I said that sliding into the Ultra Torin 7 feels just like slipping into your comfy clothes after work? A big reason for that is due to the spacious yet locked in feeling that the Torin 7 provides. Thanks to a spacious toe box, rather than feeling constricted, your feet really have room to move around and breathe. But don't be fooled, the Ultra Torin 7 isn't loose or sloppy feeling. It's got a nice snug locked down fit in the midfoot and Ultra even revamped the heel collar for a really secure, comfortable fit that reviewers found really cradled their heel and they didn't even have to use these extra eyelets to tie the marathon loop. I love the heel in the Torin 7, says Mandy. It's slightly structured yet soft. It's flared too, which makes the shoes super easy to put on my feet in a hurry. Even with my narrow heels, I didn't have to use the marathon loop to hold them firmly in place. Now that I've raved about the Ultra Torin 7, you may be wondering if it's the right shoe for you. While we always recommend heading into your local Fleet Feet for an expert one-on-one -on -one outfitting, here are a few examples of who the Torin 7 might be best for. Thanks to an accommodating fit with a spacious toe box, the Ultra Torin 7 is well-suited for runners with wide feet, bunions, hammer toes, or those who just like a little bit of extra breathing room in their shoes. And if you're not sure about the width of your feet, you'll definitely want to head into your local Fleet Feet for an expert one-on-one -on -one outfitting. The zero drop platform makes it ideal for runners who are seeking a level, stable platform for toe offs and landings. And if you're new to wearing zero drop shoes, we recommend gradually easing into them over the course of a few weeks. That's it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you're curious to learn more about Ultra shoes, be sure to check out our video review of the Ultra via Olympus.